My name is Daniel, I'm 16. I created a project. I'm able to sell it now, which I didn't think I was gonna be able to do. But I can't keep up with the orders. And uh, that's why I'm here to see if I can get it machined in larger scales than what I can do at school. I hope we can make something happen. Oh, that is cool. Look at this. Yeah, it's all made out of one saw. Yeah, it's cool. Hi, it's CNC. How can I help you? Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm a high school student. I have a project I've been working on. I just wanted to talk to somebody about it. Okay, yeah, give me one sec. I'll be right there. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hello, good. Come on in. Travis? Daniel. Daniel, pleasure. Bart. Bart, Daniel, pleasure. Granddad. Absolutely. So uh, what do you have going on, Daniel? So you can probably see it on the camera, protector case. So it's rocks, uh, airsoft BBs, paintballs. Mm -hmm. It will keep the lens from shattering. Yeah, impact, so. very nice. Well, yeah. actually, Titan's walking in here right now. Maybe we can talk to him. Hey, how are you, man? Good, how are you? Daniel. Cool, Daniel. So am I on camera right now? Yeah, so that's actually why I'm here. It's a product that I made. You made this? Yeah, we have CNC machines at our school. So this cover right here? Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So this piece right here actually comes off? Yeah. But what is the reason? Like, why did you do it? I play airsoft with my friends, and my friend was out on the field one day, and he came out almost in tears that his lens had broken, and he showed it to me, and it had gone through the camera, too. That's why I created Go Shield. It's a protector case that goes over GoPro cameras to save it from impacts. And I realized if other people need it, I might as well try to sell it. The day after, I went to school and I made a 3D printed version, um, modeled in Maya, and then I went to a laser cutter. So you have Autodesk Maya at school yeah. and a 3D printer. Public school wasn't working for me, so we ended up finding the SAC Makers Academy. They offer video editing, 3D modeling, animation, game design, so it's a very hands-on makers kind of school. So you've tested your camera and shot the camera mm -hmm. and actually still good. Yeah, it's fun though, when I try to get people to buy them at the fields, uh, I'll say, can I shoot your camera if they don't believe me? And they'll be like, oh, no, no, no. And it's like, all right, well, shoot mine, and then I'll put it on and they'll see it and like, oh, that's really cool, it actually it works. It's like, so. like the best commercial it's right really there. Cool. Yeah. I have my shields in three airsoft stores in the local area, and then I have one sale overseas, so moving it out of the country is kind of cool to see where people are buying them from. This is absolutely incredible. So what can I do for you? I can't keep up with the quantity that I need, and uh, if I could find someone to make them in mass for me, that's my goal. So you're ready to go into production? Yeah. You've been selling like small quantities, yeah. now you want to run hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands. Yeah, that's the goal. Worldwide. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. We're well, definitely solving a problem. Yeah. Great, well let's take a look at the product. Let me look at the different pieces, see what you got, and I'll see if I can help you out. Thank All you. All right, wow. cool. School me on what you got going on over here. So the polycarbonate lens, it's just got the protective okay. stuff over it just so it doesn't get scratched up in the box. But you peel that off on both sides, re-screw it in, and then slide it over your camera and you're good to go. And it just stays there, yep. Lock, locks in place. So I got to the design that I have now just by kind of watching YouTube videos and seeing what I liked and didn't like. People had tried to make a lot of like homemade stuff, but it involved duct tape and I don't want to be running around with duct tape on my camera and having the chance of falling off or in some extreme cases gum that just, no. With that in mind, I wanted a friction fit, easy to put on case, which is why I went to having a friction fit. I didn't want to have screws holding it in just because it's extra parts. I wanted to make it very user friendly if I could. There's actually a lot of tooling, programming, involves setting the machines up to run your first production. From that point on, it actually is fast and efficient. So what I think we should do is, I'll put the tooling in place, I'll come up with just a cool way to run, you know, hundreds of parts, do it on camera, I'll do it for free. And it'll inspire people that want to build stuff that anybody can create and make products. Really cool, right? that's, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah wow. it'll, be, it'll be awesome. We came here today hoping maybe we could get a quote and we've been totally blown away with what all's happening now. Uh, I think this is just terrific and amazing and we're ex excited to follow the path. Why don't you email me the prints? I'll look at them. 
and then uh, we'll create some drawings for you. We'll do some different styles and we'll program and we'll set something up. You'll see if you like it. That's cool. All yeah. right? And we'll do some solid modeling. We'll render it in Autodesk Fusion and it'll be like. I wasn't expecting to make the run for free, which is pretty crazy considering I know what goes into making the run myself and it's a pretty big deal. So it was cool to see someone excited about it other than me. I'm just excited to see where it goes from here. So when looking at production, when looking at running thousands of parts, what we want to do is we want to set up the machine so the machine runs by itself. I'm going to give you an example of one of the techniques that I use. We call it running strips. To help solve Daniel's problem, we need to run the part fast. This particular gold shield is a small part. It's only gonna take about a minute to machine. What I wanna do is I wanna run multiple parts at the same time. And I wanna put one piece of material in, but take out a lot of parts. So I calculated the length of the part for the gold shield by 18. Between each part, I have a groove that's 300,000, so a quarter inch tool can actually cut the sides of it. And at 18 parts, the length of the strip came out to be 39 inches. I'm gonna use three vices, one, two, three, but there's a big gap between the vices. So I'm gonna use extra long soft jaws and I'm gonna put the gibbs onto the soft jaw and I'm gonna be able to lock them in place. So I divided 39 inches by three vices, which gave me 13 inches for each vice. So the soft jaw with the gib is exactly 13 inches long. So now I can snap this guy and lock it inside. I can snap the next one right next to it and lock it inside with no space between them. It's like one continuous jaw. These are moving, these are the hard jaws right here. So once I come in here, I lock this in, then my entire strip is going to rest across the entire length of the jaws. Once I have a strip in the back, in the front, I can close my doors, run all parts, all 36 pieces at the same time while I'm multitasking and running a different machine. It's just gonna run on its own. This technique is just one of the techniques we use to stay competitive in a global market. So we probably made about 15 to 20 prototypes for the sizing before it actually fit, and even then it still wasn't good. Daniel was starting to get frustrated with the ghost shield and the CNC equipment he had available. So we went to some local machinists, I talked to some companies, nobody really showed us much respect. I'm happy to have my stuff made by Titan because one, he's super nice, he has great ideas, really friendly, easy to talk to, not very intimidating like some other companies or people could be. I've been elated ever since. I really think timing was on our side and we were meant to meet the Titans of CNC. Oh, so Daniel, here you go. Look at how clear it That's is. That's amazing, I can't believe it. It's so, so different good. from yours. That is so <laughs> detailed. That's awesome. On really mine, cool. you can see like the scratches of where the bit went. Mm -hmm. When we finally got to see the design that Titan had came up with, it was pretty amazing because their tools are so much better than the one that I use. Like you can see the tool marks and scratches of where the bit went around. And then you have Titans, which is pretty much perfectly clear. So now that we have a program, we have it uh, probably just under two minutes. So we're actually working on the program, get it down. It should be under a minute and then... Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. It's good. And then we're running 36 at a time. Wow. Every single time, so <laughs> it'll work. Last time I did 36, none of them fit. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Now this is just 
perfect with the clarity and then the sizing. Mine, you have to like fight with it and do a wrestling match. And this one, you just slide it over, it fits perfectly, it's not going anywhere. And uh, it's really cool to see the amount of precision that you can get with those machines. And I'm glad to have this as my final product. Just came off the airsoft field, had another great day. Camera took a couple hits, didn't get one single scratch on the actual GoPro itself, thanks to the high quality manufacturing over at Titans of CNC.